Another contributing factor to tremulousness is muscle weakness and fatigue. We don't think about this enough when we're operating, but think about this in the setting of lifting weights, for example. Let's say that I take this weight and that I'm holding it in this steady position. Everyone's experienced this before when carrying something heavy, but eventually, when your muscles tire out, you're gonna start shaking to try to keep the muscle in that exact same position. And as the weaker you get, the more pronounced that shaking is gonna become. The concept is similar when you're thinking about some of your intrinsic fine muscles in your hand. If you're operating and your hand is not used to holding pressure or exerting force in a certain way, then over time that fatigue and weakness is going to translate to weakness. What we don't think about is that every time we operate, we wear either two pairs of gloves or one pair of thick gloves. So therefore, every time you open an instrument, in addition to opening an instrument, you're overcoming the resistance of that glove. One way to reduce hand tremors is to strengthen those intrinsic hand muscle groups. One way that we've come up with is to actually physically place resistance on our surgical instruments. So this is a typical needle driver. I put hair bands around it, but you can use rubber bands or anything that offers resistance. When you're practicing, every time you're opening that instrument, it feels like you're wearing thick gloves that you need to overcome with strength. Over time, those muscle groups will strengthen and will take away any element of weakness or fatigue when you're operating.